now let's move on for question of php technical interview this question is on date time okay so the question usually got asked by interviewer is like this they ask the question like find the date after this much hours this much minutes and this much seconds from current time okay let me just comment this now uh, how to solve this question so for that for date time in php we have very important two functions we must those function the first function is the time function so when i echo the time function let's check on browser we get this okay this number is actually seconds from 19 and 70 okay so this is how php keep track of time uh, so whatever the seconds happens after 1917s, those seconds are nothing but the value. We need to convert this value into date and time afterwards. So we are playing in terms of seconds while working with dates and time. Okay. Now the second function is that the date function. So to convert the date from this time we just need a function named date so in date we just have to pass the format at first like this d m y and at second parameter we just uh, need to pass the time so currently uh, if you pass this time inside this function so the time you pass is nothing but a seconds of uh, 1970s we call it as a timestamp okay now if i just print this output I'll commit this one and here this is the current date okay on this date I'm recording this video okay so first of all we do understood that we need time inside seconds but we got data in hours minutes and seconds so we must have to find out how much seconds all these things gives us so first of all I will remove all this let's just find all the seconds so we got 5000 hours here so to convert hours into minute we have to multiply them with 60 so let's do this 5000 into 60 now whatever the value become this value is nothing but the minutes and to get uh, seconds from minutes we have to multiply it with 60 again okay since so 60 seconds is the one minute and 60 minute is equal to one hour so this is how we are doing calculation so we got a uh, seconds for 5000 hours okay now what we can do we can add 500 minutes we can convert it into seconds by multiplying them with 60 so and we already got 50 seconds so we just add those 50 seconds so we get seconds over here we just have to uh, we just converted it now to find the total seconds from 1917 to the date which come after all this calculation for that we just need to add this seconds plus time okay so time will having already seconds from 1917 the seconds are the extra seconds we want to calculate date for I will just assign variable as total seconds now to find out the date we just have to use the date function so what i will do i will just echo the date function we will use format d m y we just have to pass this total second time inside this function so we are just echoing the date after all those time all those seconds okay so i'll save this program i'll run this and here it is so this is the result we get when we add 5000 hours, 500 minutes and 50 seconds from current time. So that's it for this video. Okay. In case we getting more questions, interview point of view, we will be adding more videos.